Hello, it is week 33, God love us, of the road to 100 interviews. If you've been playing along at home, I only need two more, two more people <laughs> to participate. Please participate. It's uh, becoming very stressful. As you can see, I've developed a pimple up here. That's something that's been happening since I turned 32 a couple months ago. I used to get one pimple here, but now it is migrated. Aging is weird because I'm definitely way out of my teens, but I'm still getting acne. And then I have a gray hair up here, which I discussed in a previous video and actually ripped it out, but apparently it has returned. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that hair. I remember last year when I was doing my review of Mark Brown's final Arthur book, I had a gray hair and I was like, that's how you know you're too old for this book. <laughs> and I ripped it out. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. See, there's the eyeball. It's watching. Ooh. It says the antiquarian sticker book imaginarium that's a mouthful so it says over 1000 exquisite and enchanting stickers the first person on my list this week is fulton lee and he is a singer songwriter who lives in nashville but he makes these really cool videos to go with his music and i would almost describe it as a prank video but like in the nicest way because he'll do something like stand here if you're sad or if you're having a bad day and then he'll sing a song that lifts their spirits and every time i watch it i'm just like oh what does that happen to me not that i want to be sad but <laughs> I'm wearing my Tim Chasen shirt. Tim is just one of my favorite people on the planet. And one time in 2019, I was going through a bit of a lull where I wasn't getting as many interviews as I thought I could be. And Tim wrote me this really nice note, and I will read part of it. I've saved this on my phone from 2019, and I feel like I look at it whenever I feel sad. So thank you, Tim. Life is full of challenges, especially in the creative world. There's always ups and downs. We experience it all the time. You just tend to put a lot of pressure on yourself, but I think that can sometimes be a good thing. But in art, we always want to improve. I hope you continue your interviews and also follow any other passions because that's what makes life worth living. Take care and talk soon. The second person on my list this week is Kate Allen. Kate is an illustrator and author, and you might have seen her work on Facebook or Instagram under the name The Latest Kate. And they are usually positive affirmations that feature really amazing illustrations of animals. And they just also make you feel good. I think that's part of my theme this week, if I were to have a theme. Uh, it's just uh, every week I try to find people that bring me joy. Because I know if I were able to tell their story, it's going to bring other people joy too. And finally, my last person on my list this week is Liz Climo. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly, but... That's another person's work who you will recognize as soon as you see it. She is known for her little world of Liz comics. And usually they feature a bear and a rabbit and a snake and all these little critters. And there are so many comics of hers that are my favorite. But one of them is a bear and a snake playing catch with a football. And the bear goes to throw the football. And he says, go long. And the snake spreads out like this. Oh, by the way, do you like my t-shirt? I like it. I got it yesterday. It has Maleficent on it. And I did get a haircut, but to the average person, it's probably not noticeable. I actually got this shirt for free, um, but I first met Tim at Fanshawe College. He was playing in the Outback Shack, which if you've been there, it's not a very big room. And it's a restaurant. So um, I went to meet Tim, and it was so loud in there that we actually had to write notes back and forth with each other on a piece of paper. And you'd be like, uh, what size do you want for your t-shirt? And then someone got in front of me and I was like rude because, you know, I'd been in this line for a while and someone just went ahead and like butted in front of me and then bought this shirt. And then they're like, oh, don't worry about it. That guy paid for that shirt for you. And I don't know who that was. And he probably woke up the next morning with a hangover and probably wondered where his $20 went to. Liz is actually the 97th person that I've sent an interview request to this year. And so if you remember at the beginning, I only needed 19 people to say yes. So I've almost done the work of 100 interviews in this year alone. I just don't have the actual interviews. But in a way, I think that's a blessing because imagine if every person did say yes. I would be so overwhelmed and it would take me forever to get through all of those articles. 